Hello everyone. In today's video, we are talking about what are the differences between when you buy the regular size Amiibo cards and the small Amiibo cards. So let's talk about small Amiibo cards first, like which I have these already. So the small Amiibo cards is when you buy them, they're a little bit costly. Whatever you can see, like the different uh, series of them. Well, they are same series, uh, but it's different that it's worth uh, when you were buying them. So I've got these all packs already. Like from series one to series four, as you can see. Yeah, so it is easy to buy all of them, but the purchase is expensive. And if you may lose some of them, then you have to pay it again. And uh, uh, cost will be charged up and it is uh, also very expensive that if you could buy some of the Lost Amiibo cards like let's say for example is uh, when you lost this one mm -hmm. like for example yeah, if you lost this card then that means you have to pay up but you yeah uh, but you can't even get enough exchange because that one's already in there and they are in a complete uh, series of all of them like when you were buying it online then it's always stored in the capsules because they are small amiibo cards yeah so here I have the others. Uh, they just put them those in the crates, the plastic crates. Just keep it as in storage. Yeah, because I like buying small amiibo cards. Uh, that will be much better for you to buy so that you can you you can use all of them as wherever you go. Oh, well, I know they're cheaper, but I just told you if you lost one or some of them, then you won't uh, give enough exchange. Uh, that'll charge up the cost. Okay, and then I'm talking about the uh, regular Amiibo cards. So regular Amiibo cards is that uh you if you want to have them at least if you're paying it up uh you should get the packets like the plastic packets uh, in different series and when you unwrap it up uh you will see like um different uh separated characters at least there might there could be a minimum of five or four or three in series five and in welcome amiibo series yeah but yeah and i know it's like a surprise box and sometimes that it can get ones duplicated at least when you already have one in your collection and I know it is difficult if you can buy all of the series as what I have. Yeah, and I, and I know the big the regular size amiibo cards are expensive. Yeah, and I know sometimes or couple times that it can it, it won't get refused as how much you have, but at least if you get them you won't even get an uh get even some of them because you might already have them right so don't ever feel confused about them 
It's just it doesn't matter what kinds of character that you were missing for with the regular amiibo cards. Because it is recent and sometimes that uh, your character does not in a, have in a collection could be rare. Yeah. That could be a rare find. So right now, um, I guess uh, uh, buying the small amiibo cards is a better way uh, when you were inviting your Animal Crossing characters. Yeah, so that is uh, much faster. Mm -hmm. Because I like using them. I like using the small amiibo cards because I, uh, I can easily uh, invite most of the characters on my Animal Crossing. So I could meet and greet uh, with uh, many characters. Yeah. So what about you? If you already have the amiibo cards already, what kind of amiibo cards you have? Or uh, uh, do you want to buy the regular uh, amiibo cards or the small amiibo cards? Just write them down in the comments. And uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video. And I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.